Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to update your device to iOS 8. Now, the following devices that it works with is the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5C, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S, not the iPhone 4, uh, the iPad Air, iPad Mini, iPad, iPad Mini, uh, iPad Wi-Fi plus 3G, iPad Wi-Fi third generation, iPad, 2 Wi-Fi, iPad 2 Wi-Fi Revision A, iPad 2 Wi-Fi plus 3G, and iPad 2 Wi-Fi plus 3G. Uh, so those are the following models it works with. Now, what you're going to do is click the very first link in the description down below that will take you to AppleCritics.ca, and if you click that link, it'll be a step-by-step -step detailed tutorial, uh, and we'll have uh, all the download links that you'll need uh, for your respective device. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is make sure that your device is plugged in uh, via the uh, USB cable. Now, what you're going to do is make sure that your device is freshly restored to the latest iOS uh, firmware, which is iOS 7.1.1. Uh, so you're going to go to General, and then About, and then you're going to make sure that you're on iOS 7.1.1. Uh, so you can't already be on iOS 7.1.1. You have to freshly restore your iPhone, your iPad, or iPod Touch to iOS 7.1.1 via iTunes, and then set it up as a new iPhone, as I have already done. Now, before I start this video, this will be a completely free uh, way to get iOS 8. You'll not need a UDID or a $99 developer account. Uh, this is completely free. And once you've done that, you're going to download iOS 8. Now, once you've done that, what you're going to do is go to where it says check for update. And then you're going to hit uh, option if you're on Mac. Or if you're on Windows, you're going to press shift or alt. And once you do that, you're going to hit Option right there. And then you're going to hit Check for Update. And then from there, what you're going to do is find wherever uh, you saved the uh, IPSW of iOS uh, 8. So what you're going to do is hit Open. And then what it's going to say is iTunes will update your iPhone to iOS 8.0. And now once you've done that, what you're going to do is hit update. And it's going to say extracting software right here. And now, as you can see, it's preparing iPhone for software update. Now, if you take a look at your iPhone, that is now verifying the updated iPhone software. And you can see that it's updating now. And this shouldn't take too long. And now it says your iPhone has been updated and is restarting. And it should appear in 4 seconds. And now you see the progress bar again. And now it's rebooting. So just be patient. Uh, the firmware usually takes around this time. It's not uh, too long, but it has a lot to do in a short amount of time. And now you can see, you can hear the vibration that it's booting up. And it says hello. So we'll skip through everything.
And now if we go to settings and then version right here, you can see that we're on iOS 8. So thanks for watching this video on how to update to iOS 8. Uh, please be sure to subscribe like this video. Please smash that like button so I know you watch this video. Also check out AppleCritics.ca for the latest Apple news, reviews, and more. Like my Facebook fan page at facebook.com slash AppleCritics. And thanks for watching.